Goa Institute of Management, which is popularly known as GIM. Okay, the application forms are open. In fact, this is one of the most popular colleges okay, to apply through CMAT and ZAT exam also. So let's quickly check okay, the details about this. Now, yes, okay, quick reminder is to subscribe the channel. Also hit the bell icon because all these important updates you will be getting on our channel on a regular basis. So on the program front, if you see, okay, you will see that GIM is offering four different options. And the good part is because GIM brand is quite well known so all the four options okay you are getting good placements okay in all the four courses however obviously pgdm which is the flagship course is the highest placement that you will see now in terms of the intake okay pgdm is having total of you know 300 the bda okay which is nothing but the analytics part okay is having 120 healthcare and the finance course okay is having 60 and 60 seats okay overall that you will see here so yes these are the intake in terms of placements okay these are good brands actions just strategy is coming up here okay Accenture again you can see GEP is there so good brands okay overall and in terms of the average package okay they have crossed the 12 lakhs benchmark okay so it's 12.14 okay which if you see is better in range okay of the other colleges let's say it's better than KJ Sumaya and other colleges which are in the same range so definitely GIM is doing good on that front HCM okay over here okay the average package is 10.4 definitely okay now healthcare course okay specifically having 10 lakhs average package is a very good sign that you can see here in terms of brands okay for healthcare you can see you know Johnson and Johnson is there you have Morpin okay so these are one of the you know, like very renowned brands okay when it comes to healthcare pharmacy segment Lupin is there in terms of the finance course okay here the average package is 11.14 okay so this is also doing good okay when it comes to BIFS okay let's check the analytics course over here also you will see the average package is 12.8 okay which is you know, definitely better in fact this is you know higher than the the, the main course which is PGDM here look at the brands okay you have brands like Deloitte okay KPMG McKinsey so definitely overall okay GIM as a brand is having much high value and all the courses is giving you okay you know, that good options now in terms of the admission process they have something okay very different okay when it comes to GIM so yes once the student is shortlisted either he will be shortlisted for two of the courses two of the options one is the achiever round option second is the regular round option okay these are the two options now, when I go to the achiever round option, what is it? Here, if you see, this is specifically where students are shortlisted without even taking into the entrance exam to consider. That means CAT, ZAT, GMAT, CMAT, nahi dekhenge. Sirf or sirf, aapke profile mein kuch cheeze dekhenge. What are they going to see? They are going to see academic toppers, okay, from selected institutes. This set of institutes are nothing but among the top list, okay. So, let's say, you, know, you have an entire list of colleges given to you, okay, on their website. You can go and check it, okay. Here, majorly, you will see all the state level top colleges okay let's say from Mumbai if you have you know, VGIT is there okay SPJ is there okay those kind of engineering colleges SRCC commerce colleges so top level colleges are there in your state if your college is among the top definitely IITs NITs are there but in your state also if that college is among the top five top ten okay those kind of colleges they have included here so if okay you are among the academic toppers from that college okay definitely you will be given this achiever round shortlist that means without entrance exam you will be directly taken into consideration and if you are good okay you will be given spot offer also this you can see here that in achiever round if you are selected you will definitely get spot offer that means at the time of your interview if they like your candidature within half an hour they will tell you whether you are selected or not okay so those things are there and then the cutoff wise if you see okay CMAT is anywhere from 95 to 99 percentile CAT is around 85 to 90 ZAT is around 80 to 85 and GMAT is 600 plus so cutoff wise also it is not very challenging okay definitely in case you're looking for tier 2 options GIM is one of those good options in the final selection process okay 40 percent is given to the entrance exam okay whichever entrance exam that you have given your past academic is 15 percent work experience is 10 percent the interview round is going to be 30 percent okay that means understand this is going to be definitely of a you know, very high value to them okay and the profile assessment index okay is going to be five percent so this is the final selection and when you come okay in terms of the other courses it is more or less the same thing okay bf bifs okay or analytics and scm they are also having more or less the same thing it's only the profile assessment okay for analytics this five is not there for that, you will see that they have a separate entrance exam, GAAT, okay, which the analytics students also have to give, okay. So, this exam is apart from the CAD, ZAD exam, aapko GAAT exam bhi dena hoga, which is going to be for the analytics course. Now, these are the important dates. Now, in dates, they have some other other 
format here. One is the first mover deadline which is going to be 15th of November. Early bird deadline is also there which is 6th of December deadline for CAT 22 applicants. Okay, then they have you know, December 20th is another deadline. So multiple deadlines are there. Why they give you multiple deadlines? Because the fees charges will keep on changing. First mover, okay, that means if you are able to apply, okay, you no know, GIM before let's say 15th of November, that means before CAT only if you apply, your fees is going to be less. Okay, so you will have 1750 for one program and similarly for other programs you can see the charges here if you are applying again okay, the early bird price that means you are applying before okay you not know, 6th of december that means after cat if you are applying okay then you have this options okay where early bird you will have this particular fees definitely you save on something and the last date okay which is where you have deadline for cat 22 here that means okay by december 20th if you apply then okay i think the final closing date okay this is here okay jan 4th which is after that okay so after that okay this is going to be the fees so they have different classifications okay so if you want to have gim as a good backup option definitely you can apply to it okay through cat as well before cat exam as a first mover you will save on some money here okay in terms of the applications now in terms of the fees okay the overall fees is around 18 lakhs okay the average package is around 12.5 lakhs most of the tier 2 colleges okay let's say kj suma and all that will be also in the same range okay yes on the on the front of ROI, okay, you will see that there is a bit of change here, but yes, with two years time, okay, you will have a good growth, okay, and GIM as a brand will definitely help you a lot, okay, in terms of your growth. So that's all, okay, take an informed decision and make sure that if you are looking for something in this range, okay, of close to 12 lakhs average package, go ahead, okay, and apply to GIM. All the best.